When it comes to narcissistic abuse recovery, many have sought to have some success in putting the narc behind them. It can be quite challenging because narcissistic abuse is a type of emotional abuse that involves manipulation to alter, change, damage the way a person thinks, behaves, or feels. Those who conduct this type of abuse in their relationships often have NPD, or sociopathic tendencies. There are several signs that indicate you may be suffering from narcissistic abuse. For example, in the early stages of romantic relationships, a narcissistic partner may act perfect But then patterns begin to change and shift. And soon manipulation begins. Other signs include feeling confused, upset, or guilty about incidents that were not your fault, but for which you feel inclined and motivated to feel responsible that it's your fault. Narcissistic abuse may also involve serious scenes or public humiliation that is disguised as a joke. While narcissistic abuse is damaging, this insidious behavior is truly damaging. However, recovery is possible. During the relationship, you may have had to rationalize the behavior for so long accepting it, trying to rationalize and excuse it away, sweep it under the rug even. You're finding more individuals struggling with making their day come to a happy end with so many memories and the roller coaster of emotions of narcissistic abuse. But there is a need to set boundaries from the abuser. It can be very challenging. Narcissistic abusers often try to reconcile, as it were. They try to give you the promise of change. They are just trying to manipulate you even further, though. This is why setting boundaries, powerful, healthy, strong boundaries, is very important. Cutting ties and having no contact with your abuser, blocking their phone number, many other preventative things that you want to put in place can be very helpful. But when no contact isn't possible, what can you do? If going without any contact from your abuser is impossible because they are a member of your family or you share children, uh, setting boundaries with that person can be an extreme challenge when you need to co-parent with someone who's a narcissistic abuser. While seeing your abuser can be extremely difficult, you still have to maintain a strong boundary and hold on to those boundaries. The confrontation may be strong from them. Hold your ground. This can be done by stating clearly you will not be subject to their abusive behavior. And you will remove yourself from any interaction with them once abuse raises its ugly head. By seeking professional help, by getting the support you need and saying no more, no more to the abuse. While recovery is difficult, it is possible. Taking the necessary steps toward recovery, such as by seeking professional help, recognizing that the abuse actually occurred, and focusing on yourself, can all help you move past the abuse. When it comes to narcissistic abuse, when it comes to the information that is available to you, 
there's so much that you can be bogged down with. Many of you have told us that. We understand. There's so many videos. There's so much in front of you. But when you invest in your emotional well-being, it will pay off. The information, the knowledge that you will gain, the camaraderie and the experiences of others will fortify you to push back and to move beyond the narcissistic abuse that you've experienced. Narcissistic abuse can be so subtle that it is difficult to notice when it's happening to you. That is why many people stay connected to their abusers for so long. Once you do realize what is happening, the damage often is already done. When you remove yourself from the situation, you may have developed some negative behaviors, such as people pleasing, but it's important that you don't beat yourself up over that. You are not to blame for any abuse that was done to you. Let's repeat that. You are not to blame for any abuse that was done to you. And you can heal from the pain that was caused. We have so much more to give you, so much more to share. We look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Look forward to talking to you again, either in our live in person shows, as well as here on NATV Radio. You are not alone. There's so many out there that are looking to give you some source of encouragement and support. We thank you for joining us here. It's time for us to move on and get prepared for more shows and more events for you. Thank you so much for supporting us in each and every way with our content. If you found value with it, a measure of value, feel free to share that with others. Thank you so much for being here with us on NATV Network, NATV Podcast. Hold on. It's going to be okay.